is in traditional animation. She prefers stop motion, but her final today is um, 3D model building in Maya. I actually, I'm looking for 3D modelers to help me work on some of the projects that I do because I do, okay. I've got, I mean, uh, 3D printers and CNC milling machines and laser cutters and I mean, all kinds of other stuff, but I'm looking for other artists to help me with projects where I, I play facilitator. I help provide the equipment that uh, I work with other people that I may help collaborate on projects. Oh, okay. I mean, I did some cool. computer animation, but I can't keep up with the with the current software. I mean, my software experience is 20 years out of date. Right, right. Yeah, she doesn't much care for the um, the 3D. She prefers like a fabrication for stop motion. That's yeah. her preference. Yeah. Cool. Well, I mean, you can see she's a fabricator. Yeah. Hmm. All right. I'll let her know you are looking for... Craftspeople yeah. of all types. Okay. All right. Uh, where are you located at? Um, we're in San Jose. Okay. So she's in school in San Francisco, but I'm moving her back yeah. after this closes. Well, I, I'm here in San Jose just over off of Capitol Avenue in McKee. Oh, okay. But so I recently close. bought a... Tabletop CNC milling machine and uh, fabric cutter and um, 3D printer, laser etcher, and a whole bunch of other stuff. But most of it's still sitting in the boxes because uh, I mean, like these are 3D printed, right? And then they're um, in this case, it's treated with um, this paint and then a chemical that makes it grow. Yeah. Yeah. So these, the, all this, all this kind of stuff is off a 3D printer. Yeah. And then, do you know the people from um, Steamy Tech? Of the mirror she does I've a lot of work with uh, them. met them a couple of times. I'm, I mean, yes, I'm not. So this is definitely. I've seen them at several shows here yeah. and um, Maker Fair and fun. other I mean, events in the area. Mm -hmm. But they do a lot of um, 3D printing. Right. This one too. Because some of their uh, mechanisms. Right. Require the 3D pieces. Right. You know, in, inside. Send them over. <laughs> yeah, if you're looking for people who do, um, you know, have experience with the 3D printing. Right. Well, I'm not so much concerned about experience in 3D printing as skills in 3D modeling. Because once you've got the computer model, I mean, importing it into the printer and making size adjustments and stuff like that is fairly easy. Uh, it's just generating the original the model. model. I mean, that's yeah, I mean that's more difficult. And people who actually know enough about fabrication that it knows how to combine, <laughs> I mean, make things in different components to fit together. Yeah. <laughs> cool. All right. Thank I'll you. Let her know. Hello. Uh, Yeah, I've been admiring your sash. It um, looks like the ones that uh, uh, Kraken with uh, sells. They, I mean, they, they were here last year and the year before. I was there last year. I got this at the Reno con convention, though. Uh, I'm, I'm talking about your... Oh, this? Yeah. Yes, that, that's Kraken with. You're right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, the only yeah. ones that I've seen that I mean that make the I mean the ruffled slashes yeah. like that. Because well, the, they have them there, yeah. and then I don't know who's that. That is though. Must be them. Yeah. Is that the same? Uh -huh. The crack and whip? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yes, guys. Hello. Good to see ya. How's life? Uh, doing good. Is Crack and Whip here this year? Or? Yeah, this is Crack and Whip. Okay. Yeah, we're showing it. Later. I was wondering because um, I, I mean, she made this for me a couple of years ago. Last year I ordered some new straps uh -huh. from her for it, and I never got them. Oh. They were supposed to be here last year, and when, when I came asking about it, no one knew anything. Interesting. Well, um, Kristen was here setting up. She left me to go cats and take care of some stuff. But Kaja is Kristen's surrogate right here. Have her give me a call when, um, when they get around because I still need right, to get some 
some new straps for this bandolier. Sure. I mean, I, I paid forty-five dollars for a set at Maker Fair last year, and I'm oh. still waiting. Maybe um, because Kristen's coming back tomorrow. Maybe get in touch with her now-ish, so that she can bring them. Are you going to be here tomorrow? Yeah, I'm going to be here all weekend. Can I snap a photo? Yeah. Because maybe she'll be able to throw something together uh, tonight while she's. Yeah, because there, there were three straps. There, I mean, there's the short one here, there's a, a long one that goes around my waist, and then there's this one here that goes over the shoulder nice. and connects on the other side back here. But if you look at the, if you look at the, the straps, you'll see how it's all, all frayed and coming apart and stuff. Because it's like a fabric layer on top of the leather backing. Okay. And I mean, all, I mean, the fabric's been fraying, and the, I mean, the, the, the the final coating on, on top has been coming off. And some very cool armor pieces. I sure enjoy making Well, let's put it this way. You've got the look and the voice down perfect. For Sacramento? Well, well no, for, for the I outfit. I didn't realize we had a look. I didn't realize Sacramento. Well, well no, I mean, I was uh, commenting about your outfit. Oh, the, yes, yes, yes. It doesn't work very well for Sacramento. It's a little too hot. It's still a little too hot. Well, I got the the octopus. <laughs> <laughs>